What's going on guys, KK back here on Cerulean Shades for the Pokemon Sword Wonderlock. Things are about to get very serious. Let's just recap the team. We got our boys Goldie, we got Japanese boy, we got Rufus, we got Japanese boy, Japanese boy, and of course, let's not forget, Japanese boy. I forgot all their nicknames, I do apologize. Um, the fact that we can't rename them is so hard, so I might replace these, like, mons with, in episodes. Um, we're doing the gym. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna do the gym. See, in the last episode, I didn't do the gym. It was, like, not done. <laughs> and we got here, I just gathered my brain before I decided I would go into the gym, because I was like, Grassmon, I have all water Pokemon, I'm, I'm kind of gonna struggle, you know? I don't even think I'm ready for the gym. I I gotta see if I have moves. Like, I played a tiny bit off camera, I do apologize. But it was just to collect stuff that would have been boring otherwise for you to see me what get. And they were just TMs that I might have missed. And some TMs I would have gotten from doing, um, what are they called? The raids. Which, by the way, we have on the channel. So there'll be a link for that probably in the description if you just want to see that. Um... A lot of these moves, I probably won't use them, to be honest. I probably won't. I'll probably only use the TMs that I can reuse. It all depends, you know? Uh, let's see. I'll teach Facade to somebody. I feel that might be a very useful move. I should definitely learn Facade over Heart Attack. The thing is, anyway, we can, we can suit for each gym and teach what we need for each gym. Because... How do you explain it? Like, each gym will be so different. Um... There's a guy that will let us unlearn and relearn all the moves we need to do. So that'll only help us along the way. Obviously, it'd be stupid to use the water Pokemon in the gym. So I'm going to probably rely on... Isn't poison worth fighting? In case there's poison in the grass gym, I'm probably best going with this normal Mon here. While it's unevolved or the bug. So just to, just to clarify my own mind, I'm, I'm going to move these three mons up, up the list for this battle. I feel that in that order, we might be safe. Anyways, let's get on with the show, shall we? Of course, Hop is like dying to do the gym. And I heard that there's like, not only rival battles in the gyms, like, like normal battles in previous things, but there's also... And you twist to these things that apparently you're meant to um, do mini games in order to resolve the puzzle for the gym, if that makes any sense. What's this kid want? A Galarian Meowth? Want to try it for my Meowth? Nah, I'm good. I don't even have a Galarian Meowth because I just wonder tried. This giant Pokeball here. So this is the gym, like. Oh, he's giving us something. Friendship Ball. Friendship power, that's a bug ball. It's not a friend ball. That just looks like them um, uh, balls that you get from uh, in Pokemon Gold and Silver from... What was that guy's name that made the, the Pokeballs? I forget his name. <laughs> I'm not a real Pokemon fan. <laughs> I, I heard there's like a glitch right now where even if you buy a uniform, they won't see you wear it or some, something like that. So... Just for the off chance, just like, literally for the 1% off chance that they fixed it. I might go with the flying uniform, simply because I think it looks probably the best. They're gonna walk us through registration for our first gym battle. Okay, let's just, let's do it. There's no, there's no even point in doing anything but spamming A. See what I was telling you? Like, he's stuck in this normal uniform. I'm not allowed to use the the flying uniform I just chose. I, th I think we literally have to do it this way. Okay, this is our first gym, guys. Look at this grass gym. Oh, these games have come a long way when it comes to... Even laying out everything, you know? Like, mini games 
before you can fight the gym leader. Chase the Wooloo. I don't want to scare them. Is this not like torture? <laughs> like, well, we give the mini heart attacks. I'm glad I'm not timed with this. Oh, <laughs> get, get over there. Ugh. Oh, I kicked that one in the face. <laughs> I'm such an awful human being. Oh, there's like a a little grass boy. Oh my god, why? This is hard. Oh, it's a trainer there. Well, I did not expect that. I did not expect the trainer to be just standing there casually. Like we do in all the other games. Right. Um, I should have speed this thing, so... For the off chance I don't, I'll use Payback and then Quick Attack. Okay, Rapid Spin. Ooh! Ooh! And it's Speed Rose, okay. Obviously, I have to be careful here. The Payback doubles in power, and it's a crit. Does it double in power? Why is Rapid Spin actually? Hold the phone, why is Rapid Spin increasing the attack all of a sudden? Or not attack speed. I think um, I think they're changing up uh, some of the moves to do different things this year. So in actual fact, uh, the rapid spin does that instead of clearing uh, the field, or it might also clear the field. I'm just gonna have to be really careful here. Payback and then hopefully a quick attack. If I quick attack, it might do more damage. I should probably heal. I should probably heal. This this is cutting it to a fine thread. Like leafage. Oh my god. Alright, quick attack. <laughs> Please. That should yes. I should just quick attack everything. Because I'm holding the scarf, so I, I should be good. Ooh, double kick. I, I actually might teach a facade now that I think about it, because technically, as a strong boy, it should be outspeeding most things I face. Like, this shouldn't get challenging for me. <laughs> Please roll away. Okay. The Wooloo continue on the path for me. This is going to be tricky. I'm just going <laughs> to... I want to kill that poor... Um, Wooloo. Oh, I'm like booting them in the face. I was about to say, where the rest of them go? Thought we were short a few Wooloo there. Do you guys think I will lose a Pokemon in this gym? Leave a comment below prior. The Wooloo were afraid of the Mon. <laughs> this is tragic. This one Wooloo is wrecking me head. Alright, I'm gonna have to like... There we go. This is tricky, like... Maybe I can use the, the whistling to get the dogs to help me. Aren't these meant to be like sheepdogs? I mean, obviously they're not designed like sheepdogs, but... Like, the job of a sheepdog. I'd imagine they're meant to like... Get the Wooloo into their nest. And yet, here I am doing the job for them. <laughs> All this just so we could get the challenge. Chucky from Rugrats. So that's literally what he is. I'm glad that this game isn't actually randomized. So like, you know, it's not like he's going to send out a Rayquaza at level 20. Alright, the Wooloo. I like that though. I like the little, that the... Also, I think Wooloo is adorable, hence, the, as you can see, the Wooloo on the freaking uh, backdrop and outro of the video. Yeah, I like Mareep and uh, Wooloo's, Wooloo's cool. Okay. Gym mission cleared. Just hand me that grass badge. Oh, it's in a stadium. 
I, I, I just pictured getting to the top of the stairs and not going to find him seamlessly. Okay, it's time. My oh, gym's the first one people face. I, I get it, because it's the first gym. Which, yeah. I, if he Dynamaxes in this, I'm screwed, by the way. Because, um... I don't know how powerful that is yet. I've seen it once, and, like... I'm not prepared for that... At all. Oh no, the music sounds like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I'm so dead. Ooh. I can Dynamax too. I don't think I'm gonna yet though. I should just... I should just play smart, shouldn't I? Quick attack. <laughs> Outspeed it and just pray. That did... Nothing. Uh oh. That was literally too much. Too much damage. I should survive another hit. Is that the wrong way of thinking? Oh, I'm gone. Oh my god, the bunny's dead. No. <laughs> oh my god. This is hard. I'm gonna send out my best boy. I'm gonna kill it as best boy, and then I'm gonna Dynamax in, in the second battle. I think I can beat it. I don't think it has a poison move. Because I'm, I'm afraid that poison might damage me for some reason. I, I don't even know if it has that. Look sweep. I should be okay. I can't believe I lost the bunny. I'm so freaking furious. Luckily, I have another mon in the PC, so. Um, but who would have thought that my first, one of my first two Pokemon I got in the series is gone. I do have a max revive though. And I don't know if I'm using it because I forget if I should follow that ruling or not. I hear there's loads of max revives in this game. I'll see. Oh my god. Even the music, it's it's reminded me of being on them like rides that like spin you really fast. It's just nauseating. <laughs> I'm gonna have to Dynamax and hit him with two big max knuckles. And I'm also gonna have to heal. He's stronger than me too, so I have to be very careful here. That is a big cotton ball. Okay. Please let me outspeed it. Because I'm a fast panda. Then again, dandelions are quite fast. Have you seen them in the wind? I think Pansha and Dynamax looks insanely good. I also healed, which is exactly what I needed. This will really leave you in a shock. Please don't hurt me. Oh no. No, 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 no. That did loads of damage. Also, he outsped me, and I... I'm going to have to be very careful now. Boom. Okay, that did nothing to him. But my attack rose. Oh, I'd love a protect. Oh, I can max guard, and then heal. And then, maybe, just maybe, I'll survive. It's all I can pray for, because... Because I'm pretty sure, like, in turn 3, we return to normal size. Alright, I need to heal 60-something health. I have a super potion. I'm using it. <laughs> and I'm praying that when we're small, 
I can hurt him. I was not prepared for grass. <laughs> I was about to say, he won't get stabbed on that move, so he should be safe. But my speed fell, so now we're in a pickle. Why are we still ginormous? Oh, no, wait. There we go. Alright, that's Dynamaxing out of the way. As you can see, it's a dangerous, dangerous game. I'll try a circle throw. Please don't hurt me with Magical Leaf. Oh my god, I lost Panda Boy too. This force gym is wrecking me up. Okay, I'm gonna have to use this bug Pokemon. <laughs> I can't believe I lost two good mons. Um... First things first, let's stop him hurting me with um, special moves. So I want to reduce the power of... Damn, is Magical Leaf special or not? Magical move, so it's Magical Leaf, so special. Uh, so I'm going to do Light Screen and then I'm going to try to confuse him. Damn. That was a crit. I'm trying to set up some sort of um, <laughs> handy little. I'm gonna heal. I forgot that because I'm uh, not grass would resist me. Obviously, round would probably be his best bet here. This ain't easy. Oh no, he's going for the Magical Leaf. And I completely resist it. I'm going to confuse him. If I'm not attacking, he's not getting damage done to him. Alright. Please hurt. A crit. That was a crit. I'll try a struggle bug and then I'll go back to the confusion. That did nothing. Oh no wait, that was super effective. And I dropped his special attack. Ooh. Again. If he does a round, I'm done. <laughs> I can I think I can like use this method to um proceed. I can't believe I lost my two good boys though. Set up another light screen. Eats that all day long. I can do this, I can eat a potion, and then I can struggle bug my way to victory. Because that's all I am. <laughs> I'm a giant ass struggle bug. The music reminds me of like Samba Soccer or like some sort of like football game. But the whole thing just screams baseball. It even looks like a baseball pitch. Struggle bug. I'm just gonna have to do it. Struggle bug, like, another few times. I can't believe how easy it is to do this now, and I could have kept Pancham alive. I, I, and I don't know which one to revive. I really should revive one of them, though. Um, maybe I will use the revives because, like, keeping in mind the, the, the house rule is. For the channel is if you find a max revive you can you can discard it and that pokemon can then be revived but only if you find a max revive the problem is the game isn't randomized i don't know how many max revives we will come across um so i'll probably use it now in the next when i when i get out of this battle and if there's too many which i will research for the next episode i'll limit the amount of use of them Okay, I really want to win this. Okay, we did it. Elder Goss is gone. And I lost two mons to him. Uh, why are my dead Pokemon going level up? 
Ah, oh, they're not. They get no experience. As it should be. Look how happy he is to have killed two of my Pokemon. I wouldn't be impressed. Alright, what do I get for this? That must be a fulfilling battle for me. Yeah, like, seeing the death of two of my Pokemon was really fulfilling. Alright, we got a badge. It goes onto our ring. He said we can, like, have Pokemon up to level 25 now. I didn't even know we were limited, to be honest. Um, and we got TM. Magical Leaf. The move that ended it all. <laughs> I don't even know if uh, it might have been the Ultra that ended it. I got a grass uniform. Something else I can't wear. How did he teleport <laughs> behind us? Um, set your order in. So that means your next stop should be Holbury to meet Nessa beyond Route 5. All right, so we got to go to beyond Route 5 to um, meet with Nessa. I think she's the water trainer from what I've read. Maybe we can even like spend the rest of the episode getting to that town but yeah uh before anything let's just see what we have in terms of revives and who i'll revive we go from like having pokemon dying to bringing them back yo that's not cool rufus and <laughs> Dancham have been revived automatically due to the way this game operates i have two max revives Okay, I guess I'll use the two max revives and bring them both back. Is that... <laughs> am I allowed to do that? You guys can tell me in the comments after a few episodes if this is BS or not, but um, the house rule is max revives are the only way to bring back Pokemon. Oh no, do you know what I'll do? Something Chazzy and Plimble suggested, I think, is that if a Pokemon is max revived, they must hold the max revive as their item for the game, so... I think that's fair, considering there's meant to be so many max revives in this game. So now we know what Pokemon have been revived already as well. And then that makes it so they can't be re-revived. So I think that's like, it's like if they die, they die. You can't keep reviving the same Pokemon. I think that's fair. So that's the way I'm going to do it. So unfortunately, the scarf must be taken off of Bonelbly. And now I've used all my max revives and my full team is back. And that was scary what happened to me with that Pokemon. We have this on the PC Clonkit I got in the last episode. And I haven't decided if he is worth bringing in my team yet. He's a rock. He might be very effective, not against water. So I think that's why I haven't moved him in yet. So I'll keep the team I have for now until I get to the third gym, which is fire. And then he might be useful. So where do we go? Route 5. Route 5 is to the right. Let's go this way. To Route 5. There is a house up there. Don't get distracted. I keep getting distracted. I want to see what's at the house. Uh, it's built into the wall, so it's grand. All right, well, I'll try not to get distracted. I'll try just do to get through it. Because like I said, I will do some off-screen stuff where I... Uh, oh no, a battle. <laughs> I'll do some I will do some off-screen stuff where I um get TMs and stuff. Um and I'll try not level up Pokemon in that regard. I'll try just to use off-screen time to find missing TMs that I need in the game or whatever. I'll try to do more of that post-game though too, like after I've recorded, because obviously I don't want to go using all that stuff in in battles and stuff, because it, it'll feel a bit cheap. Okay. Fighting Hurt Steel? I'm super effective against these two months. Okay. Let's just... Snarl at the helicopter. We can snarl the bottom. Okay. Double kick. Ooh. I love the sound. Absolutely love the sound of super effective moves. But only when I'm the one initiating them. I'm glad that I didn't send in um, the helicopter. I'm, I'm glad that I didn't send in my um, water Pokemon because I actually thought that helicopter thing was a ground Pokemon. 
The yellow should have been a dead giveaway that it's electric. I'm trying to lower lower their um, special attack so we can double team to no end correctly. Um, all right, so I finished that off with a double uh, snarl again, just so that I can safely kill the Heliopiel. <sighs> that did too much damage. I think I'm being very reckless with my Pokemon. Because obviously there's more training that should be done, but... Struggling through this game seems to be... Enjoyable, I'd imagine. Of course, with the whole BS thing about Max Revives, it's pretty... Pretty funny. Okay. Two deaths, though, so far. Like, I know they're revived, but still, two deaths. Um, double kick. And I'll snarl again, just so that... It just brings down all his stuff. Oh, Rufus. Rufus is like nearly dead from this. If I keep these six Pokemon though, like I should level up theoretically fine towards the final gym. Get all the EVs and that, you know? It's hard. It's very hard to decide what moves to give Pokemon. I'd love to get an encounter before the end of the episode. And I think I will. Do I want a Wobbuffet or a Bear? Is that not risky though? Because the thing could counter me. My revived, um... I'm not, I'm not fighting the Wobbuffet just so yes now, because that's stupid. I could get countered so easily. I think I'll give the... That new Pokemon a shot. It won't, it won't let me encounter it. There we go. So Rue 5, my encounter is a Swirlix. I've never seen that Pokemon before in my life. And I hope that uh, I can kill it. Or not kill it, but fall swipe it correctly, you know. I hope it's not super effective on me either. Fall swipe is doing nothing. Oh no. Ooh! 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 No way. Okay, I'm swapping out. <laughs> what the hell does... What the hell was in that draining kiss? Well, I'm only fighting, so it must have been like bug or psychic. So I'm probably best off bringing out my big bug boy and trying to catch this Pokemon that way. I could end up killing this thing, you know? I have to be very careful here. Okay, I'm safe using Confusion. I can also confuse it. Please don't hurt me with Training Kiss too much. Okay, that's okay. It's healing too fast. I'm just gonna have to throw Pokeballs at this thing and pray I catch it, because it is it is not giving me an easy time here. I'm, be I'm better off just throwing that Ultra Ball. Uh, thrown a, a Great Ball and praying that it, it, it's enough to catch a Pokemon near full health. It's scary. Because I should weaken it, but it's healing. <gasps> and we did it. Nearly lost me Pancham again over it. But I get another encounter. So that's good. That is good. Swirlix. The cotton candy Pokemon. I love him. I can't keep him, though he has to be wonder traded. Sent to a box. He's getting sent to a box. He's getting to cause cause because that's the way it's gotta be. Um I can probably wonder trade it right now and move on to the next episode. Cause I know we're at roof five right now, but the episode should either end right now because the time's up, or I wonder trade it. Or leave the suspense for the next episode. Hmm. You know what? I don't know how long it's going to take to get to the next gym. So I'm going to leave it here. And in the next episode, we'll wonder try the Pokemon in my PC. So guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, I'm going to get this series complete very soon. So technically all the episodes should be out on time on the channel between now and the next few days or week. You know, so uh, it'll be about 35, 40 minute episodes, maybe give or take. And... Oh, I'm going to run this way because that thing's after me. 
But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like if you thought it was good. And let me know what you just want to see more of in the near future. But anyways, thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you guys at the next one.